Sunday. Check out this one. I swear it rains like 250 days a year in New Zealand. Think about coming to New Zealand. <laughs> Look at this fashionista. Ooh. Good evening. It is 10 p.m. on Sunday and I only now start the filming. So I don't want to do too much cutting and editing tonight. Whatever I say is said and posted. When I was 20 I moved to Australia where I lived for two years and for one of those years I lived in surface paradise on the Gold Coast. Beautiful place um, but as a young man it is very tempting a lot of partying etc and at the time I wanted to be some sort of cool guy and whatever. Anyway, the building we lived in was not the best building. It was where the drug dealers were and the cops were always turning up and searching people and I was getting checked just walking outside of the building. But that's not what I want to talk about anyway. That's another story. What I want to talk about is two people, two people. I was one day, it was about 11 a.m., I was walking towards the gym, just walked outside the building. And then got to the gym and the guy told me I didn't have a towel, so I had to go back home, get a towel. And got a towel, walked downstairs again, turned left, and then BOOM! And it was quiet. There was no other noise, just this big bang. So I was wondering, what, what could it be in the middle of the day in the city? So I walk around the corner of the building only to find what I thought was food on the ground. A lot of food. So I was kind of like laughing, oh, somebody threw some food off their balcony. And... Um, I was within like touching distance of this food and I was trying to figure out what it was and there was a guy across across from me about 20 meters on some garages he was water blasting the the roofs of the garages garages so I looked at him and he said oh I think it's a person and then my heart dropped for a second I couldn't believe it, I was like, no, 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 it's not a person. So I'm looking at this food stuff on the ground, and then it turns out that it's guts and brains from a person. So I quickly went around the fence and had a look, it was some fat lady that jumped, and she hit a rail on the way down and, and exploded. And that was the first time, and... When I, yeah, that was the first time that I've seen someone make such a big mess out of their life, literally. And it, it hurt me a little bit. I was like, why would someone do this? Wouldn't they just think about the people that get to see this? There could be kids seeing this. Like, I was a bit fucked up. And soon realized that her choice and her life should not affect me. So I moved on and three months later we come home and the cops are all outside, everything's taped up and I had this feeling, oh yeah, it's another one, another jumper. So I went outside on the balcony and was looking down at this, this uh, body that was all like twisted, he was all twisted and shit with bones sticking out of his leg and he was missing half of his head brains all over the wall and stuff and I just couldn't care less eh? uh, what am I trying to say by this I'm trying to say that the decisions other people make you should not let them affect your life and 
in this life we are not given the choice of getting this life but we are given the choice of taking our life which is a choice that nobody should make um, if you know anyone that's going through depression or if you are going through, the, through depression and you feel like it's a waste of time, your life is a waste of time or you cannot see the light of the end of the tunnel you don't know why why you feel the way you feel, just talk to people talk to someone do not be embarrassed to tell them the truth, do not hide um, technology and social media and isolating yourself that is a problem I will talk about technology in, in the near future but get out there and talk to some real people tell them what you're feeling and find some hobby something that you're interested in do a little bit um, do something that makes you happy get a little win in your life because your life can just be defeat after defeat after defeat and you feel like it's all a waste of time so just get a little win in your life and then you will get another little win and back it up by another little win and once you've got a snowball effect happening you'll realize that you can do more than what you were believing you could do and all of a sudden your life has some sort of purpose and you're living with a purpose now you can't wait to wake up in the morning and you're excited about life and then you meet people that are also excited about life and you just you're just loving it so choose life do not take your life if you know someone that's going through a hard time like we unfortunately do please don't do that shit tonight's story is a little bit sad but it is not meant to make people sad it is meant to wake people up if you're going through hard times let somebody know do not hold it all inside let someone know and I wish you all a beautiful night and we'll see you all tomorrow and look after yourselves. There is no quote tonight but I just want to say that there are many people out there that have a much worse situation than you do. I'm not saying anyone in particular, I'm talking about you and me. There are people out there that suffer a lot more and the situations that we are in we are in them for a reason and the, the reason is to grow and learn from it bad times come and go bad times do not stay forever